Hello and welcome to Shorofsa's classes. Today we'll be starting with divisibility conditions in integers. So a non-zero integer, a non-zero integer n or rather say x is said to be a divisor a divisor or a factor of of integer y if there exists an integer an integer belongs to the set of integers z such that y equals to x into z pretty straightforward symbolically it is represented by x divides y this is called divides right this is a symbolic representation now let's just go and call in some theorems on divisibility the first theorem states that if a divides b and b divides c then a divides c the second theorem states if a divides b then a divides bc for any c belonging to the integral domain and three is if a divides b and b divides a then a equals plus minus b and fourth is if a divides b and a divides c then then hang on then a divides bx plus cy for arbitrary for this track yeah for arbitrary xy belongs to z now these these four are the main postulates of divisibility theory now this is my question to you let us know question is is divisibility divisibility an equivalence equivalence relation this is our question to you let us know in the comments or if you are having trouble with this question just ping us on the whatsapp number given above right so that's all for today thanks for watching